Factory 2 started after about two years of operation as Flint Steamworks. We were above the Flint local downtown on 124 West 1st Street. We started as a just two guys, myself and Mike Wright, uh, getting together after work to make a bike shop and three printers available to people initially. And at that point, we expanded from one night a week to two and just kept offering it as a come in, first come, first serve basis, and teach people how to use the equipment and allow them to get projects done using that. After about two years of that operation, we got a, another grant from the CS Mott Foundation to refinish this building and start our programming here, which was a huge expansion from about 1,000 square feet to 14,000 square feet here. Factory 2 offers 3D printing. They offer laser etching. They have a soldering station if you're interested in electronics. Uh, they have different clubs that they offer. They have a metal shop. They have a dark room for screen printing automated presses, a textile area where you can sew, make buttons, and then they have meeting space. They also have a computer lounge. Also at Factory 2, we have a number of pieces of woodworking equipment on a large and small scale. So we have things like band saws, wood lathes, shapers, joiners, planers. We've got a Bridgeport mill for metalworking and lathes as well. Uh, we've got drill presses, uh, a CNC router that is a four foot by eight foot cutting area, which gives you the ability to cut almost something the size of a pool table out from a single piece of wood. Again, we teach classes for all of this equipment on a regular basis to make sure that people can operate it safely without damaging themselves, other people, or their equipment in the process. And we get them to a functional level to be able to come in and use it on their own. And the way the system works is that you, whatever you're interested in, you have to sign up for a class. Uh, we teach that class. We have to make sure that you understand how everything works. Sometimes there'll be a second class required. Uh, but then once you get your classes under your belt and you prove that you're able to use that equipment, uh, then you just pay your fee, whether that's a monthly fee, uh, a, day, a day pass, or a yearly fee, uh, and then you have access. As Factory 2 builds on itself, it definitely can become a hub for people to work together for some of these concentrations to overlap and to allow people to um, you know, meet and work with uh, others in the community that they would never be in the same room with. So in that way I think it's a really unique kind of place where you can have an artist working, like a visual, like a fine art visual artist working next to a very business oriented person that's trying to do something for, for their business. And in the perfect world these people start working together and I can hire a graphic designer out of Factory 2 to work on my you know, project that I'm doing in the next door in the, in the metal department. Factory 2 seems to be a place that's it's still a little bit unknown. Um, and so I think that the more people learn about Factory 2, the more that it's going to thrive. Uh, I, I see that place as being jam-packed and having a waiting list to try to get into the classes that you want to take and trying to wait in line to put your name in, in your space. And I really hope that that's what happens with, the, with that space, because I think it is a really unique place to be, a really high energy, high, highly creative place to be. And I, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes in the next few years.